Good morning, St. Mary's friends. This is the fourth Sunday in Lent. Four Sundays. We made it over halfway through now. And hopefully at your houses this week, you got a package from us in the mail. And in that package, I just want to show you two things I want you to pay attention to. There are more. There's more stuff in there. But you got some new Sunday papers to follow along with the service, and that tells the story for each week. Fun things to color and fun questions. And you've got one of these. This is called a finger labyrinth. And they were painted by lots of different people in our congregation. And it's meant for you to be able to calm yourself and pray as you run your finger through the groove that's made by the design. All the way in to the center of the labyrinth. Now, you could do something like you could practice saying the Lord's Prayer while you run your finger through the labyrinth, or you could work on learning one of the scripture verses that are coming home each week on these postcards, these tabletop postcards. You could read that to yourself while you do it. But I hope you enjoy getting this in the mail this week. Um, it's been really exciting to see all the different painters bring their work into us to get them ready for you. Today's story in the gospel that people are hearing in church comes from a bigger story, and it's the story of Nicodemus. And although the grown-ups aren't hearing the whole story of Nicodemus, I want to tell you the whole story of Nicodemus because it's such a good one. So I'm going to read to you from the Spark Bible the story of Nicodemus. In the middle of the night, a man named Nicodemus came to see Jesus. It was a strange time to visit someone, but Nicodemus had many questions about God, and he did not want to wait. There was a lot of talk about Jesus. Many people didn't believe Jesus, and Nicodemus, well, he wasn't sure what he thought about it at all. He also wasn't sure he wanted anyone to see him go see Jesus. He knew that Jesus was talking about God in a whole new way, and some people didn't like it. That night, Jesus and Nicodemus talked for quite a long while. They argued and wondered together about many things. And then Jesus said this, Really, all you need to know is this. God loves you. In fact, God loves everyone. And it's important that you know this and tell everyone you meet. God wants everyone to know how much they are loved. Nicodemus, God loves this world and everyone in it so much that God sent me, his son, so that everyone would learn how much they are loved. God sent me to save the world, Nicodemus. I am the light of the world. I am all that is good and right. And God sent me to light up this world. Unfortunately, people sometimes like darkness better than light. When we do terrible things, the light is not in us. When we are mean or hateful and horrible, the world is a dark, dark place. But when we do things that are good and right, when we love each other and help one another, God's light shines brightly in the world, and God is so glad. Jesus telling Nicodemus. It's such a great story, Nicodemus coming to see Jesus. And like this Bible story tells us, what God wants us to know, what Jesus came for us to know about God, is how very much we are loved and how very much God loves this whole world. It's a little bit like a parent loves a child, except it's hard to believe that it's even bigger than a parent loves a child. The book we have today is called Someday, and it is a beautiful book about a parent and her baby together and all the things that this mother dreams and hopes for her little girl. I hope you enjoy the story and I'll see you in just a minute. Someday by Allison McGee and Peter H. Reynolds, published by Anthony and Books for Young Readers. One day I counted your fingers and kissed each one. One day, the first snowflakes fell, and I held you up and watched them melt on your baby skin. 
One day we crossed the street and you held my hand tight. Then you were my baby and now you are my child. Sometimes when you sleep, I watch you dream and I dream too. That someday you will dive into the cool, clear water of a lake. Someday you will walk into a deep wood. Someday your eyes will be filled with a joy so deep that they shine. Someday you will run so fast and so far, your heart will feel like fire. Someday you will swing high, so high, higher than you ever dared to swing. Someday you will hear something so sad that you will fold up with sorrow. Someday you will call a song to the wind and the wind will carry your song away. Someday I will stand on this porch and watch your arms waving to me until I no longer see you. Someday you will look at this house and wonder how something that feels so big can look so small. Someday, you will feel a small weight against your strong back. Someday, I will watch you brushing your child's hair. Someday, a long time from now, your own hair will glow silver in the sun. And when that day comes, love, you will remember me. I hope you guys like this story. As a mom myself, I'm going to admit it made me tear up a little bit the first time I read it. Because it is so wonderful to know that God loves me, God loves you, more than I could even love my little babies. And that's a whole lot. And I bet if you think about your mamas and daddies, you know how much they love you. Imagine God's love being even bigger than that. It's just, it's just one of my most happy thoughts each day to know how very much we are all loved by God. And so this week, I just want you to think about that. How big is God's love? It's bigger than anything we can see or taste or touch or feel. It's, it's the biggest thing in the world. And that no matter how you mess up, or if you can't kick the soccer ball as well as you want, or you made a bad grade on a test, or you got really mad at a friend, or you messed up and had to tell your mom and dad about something you did wrong, none of that takes away from how much you are loved by God. Not one little bit of that. So please think about that this week as you go along. And if you should happen to mess up, Remember that, that God loves you no matter what. I miss you guys so much, and I'm looking forward to the day I can see you. And until then, please remember how much you are loved.